Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from Make3DComics.com and BlackSunComics.com and this is part two of my video series on the best places to find 3D content for Daz Studio. Today I'll be taking a look at Renderosity. Stay tuned. <laughs> If you haven't seen part one of this series, please take a look so you can understand what I mean when I use the word best. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the thumbnail that appears. Otherwise, I'll include a link to part one in the video description below. In the last episode, I said I was going to highlight two different sites, but in preparing for this video, I found that I just had too much to say about Renderosity. So today it gets the full video treatment. First off, I'll start with the design, and I need to be really honest with you, this site looks really outdated. Now, I can only assume, but it looks like it was designed around the late 90s or the early 2000s and has never really been updated since then, in terms of the overall look and feel. I can only speculate because, again, I don't know the full history of the site. There's lots of pictures of scantily clad virtual women on Renderosity. So if you're sensitive to that sort of thing, then you might want to hide the site from your children. Now, I'm not bringing this up because I want to be some sort of wholesome, holier-than-thou prude. I mean, I, I, I get it, sex sells, and I like scantily clad women just as much as the next man. But in this case, I would have to say it goes just a bit overboard. You might get confused about what exactly Renderosity is selling. Are they selling 3D content or are they selling sex? Not a judgment, just an observation. You can decide for yourself. So next I'll briefly talk about the navigation, which I personally find a bit confusing. In my mindset, I'm coming to Renderosity because I want to purchase 3D content. But instead, I get this home page with everything but that. Now, I get it. If you look closely enough, it says Marketplace here. But even when I click on that, there's the Marketplace Home, there's Featured, What's New, What's Hot, Trending, and I, I don't really know the difference between these off the top. Uh, Prime Flash, again, if you're new, none of this really makes any sense to me. So th this is one criticism that I have for the site. The, the navigation doesn't exactly make sense. So I get, uh, as I scroll down, I get this information about what I can find on Renderosity, um, Artist of the Month, you know, if I'm not looking for any of this stuff, then this doesn't really matter to me. So I, I remember looking at Renderosity the, the first time I started to visit, and I remember being very confused about how to get around and how to get to what it is that I needed. So now that I'm used to the site, I know that you just click on Marketplace, and um, it takes you to the Marketplace. And then you can browse around for things. Uh, you have your departments here. So depending on what I'm looking for, I can find it. So this this helps. But again, my criticism is that it's not 100% obvious. You kind of have to dig around a bit. As you get familiar with the site, you begin to memorize the best way to navigate to the pages that you need. Now, this is more of a workaround because really I would just prefer the navigation to be more intuitive. Another pet peeve of mine is that it seems that everything opens up in a new window, and I'm not sure why that is. Sometimes I find that helpful, but most times I don't. Usually when I'm browsing Renderosity, before I know it, I have 20 tabs open on my browser. Things just get really cluttered and unorganized, and I, I'm just I, I'm not a fan. The checkout process for me isn't always consistent. About 80% of the time it works, and the other 20% of the time it decides just not to work. Usually after a few page refreshes, it begins to work normally, but, you know, that's a headache. Again, to be totally honest with you, that's my overall feeling when I use this site. It kind of leaves me with a headache. So that begs the question, well, Kelvin, if Renderosity gives you such a headache, why did you include it in your list of best places to find 3D content for Daz Studio? Good question. So the reason why I included it is because in spite of those headaches, and don't get me wrong, they are headaches, there are two areas that I feel Renderosity just soars above everyone else. It, it really excels, and I'll get into that now. So the first reason why Renderosity rocks is, number one, variety. The number of products in the Renderosity store is staggering. Not only do they have 3D content like clothing, vehicles, hair, Environments, add-on figures, props, poses, creatures, animals, lights, and cameras. 
There's also textures, stock images, Photoshop brushes, stock audio, Photoshop actions, comic book resources like page layout templates and sound effects, extended licenses for game developers, and software like Poser or Blacksmith 3D. There, there's literally everything a digital content creator would, would need. Also, I should note that they have the largest selection of add-on characters of African descent who look good. Uh, this is a category that's sorely lacking throughout the 3D world, but uh, at least here at Renderosity, you have a pretty good selection. Some of my favorite vendors are P3D, I believe that's for P3D, the D is for design, and Reese Cup, of course, I've mentioned her in a few of my other videos. Great characters of African descent, so if you need them, here's the place to get them. The second reason why Renderosity rocks is when it comes to price. Your dollar goes a lot further at Renderosity than it does at other stores, at least any of the other stores that I know of. However, there is a trade-off because at the end of the day, you do kind of get what you pay for. If you buy something that's cheap, then you're probably not going to get the same quality and detail that you might find in products listed elsewhere. That's not to say that the products at Renderosity are bad. I buy them all the time. It just means they might not be as top-notch as something from a vendor like Stonemason, for instance. Also, if you have some Photoshop or GIMP skills and a little bit of time, you can make adjustments to your renders to get them looking exactly the way you want once they've come out of uh, Daz Studio. So for those two reasons, Renderosity makes my list of one of the best places to get 3D content for Daz Studio. I've included a link to Renderosity in the video description below. If you click the link and then make a purchase, I do get a small commission, which helps me to create more videos in the future. If you haven't done so already, please visit us at blacksuncomics.com where you can download a free preview of my first book, Black Sun The Longest Night. It was illustrated entirely using Daz Studio and Photoshop. If you found the information in this video useful, please click like and subscribe, share the video with your friends, and be sure to check out some of the other Daz Studio tutorials on this channel. In the meantime, take care. Peace.